Today we have our epic Carolongo and we have the season of love to check out in Dawn of Fire. We have been waiting for this epic seasonal forever. I am ready for this thing. Wait, it's took me into the market. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to happen. Right, so we have stuff to check out. I want to go in the mailbox, first of all, see what we actually do have. So let's have a look here. Smooch Hall, Carolong, Epic Carolong, wonderful. Oh, and five brand new costumes. Oh my God. <laughs> that looks amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> We're going to have to totally do the toothless dance to you. That's awesome. <gasps> I love that. Oh my God. What the, that was so worth the wait. How does that look so cool? It looks so different. I cannot wait. We're gonna have to get you on every single island there is. Wow, I cannot wait. Oh my God. I'm just in shock. What? Oh my God. I love that. I cannot. Right, let's go into the sanctum and breathe this thing. I am so impressed by that. Wow, the beard. It looks kind of like Gold Island Epic Wobox in such a good way. Oh my god. Okay, we're really gonna seriously have to get this thing. We'll get it on Sanctum and then I'll teleport in over to the shanty. My god, that looks so cool. And smooch all. Oh, I gotta wait to see that. I believe it's gonna be so cute in Dawn of Fire. All right, let's go straight away and try and get this thing. Actually, let's take a bit of a look at it first because I am so excited by this monster. I wanna get a full-on preview. <gasps> Whoa, check out the difference between those two animations. Oh, oh, it held up its staff. Oh, yes, this is the kind of difference I am talking about. Epic Clown of the Year, it felt so same in terms of animation, but this already, this feels alive. Now, this, this is what I want from an epic seasonal. Wow. Okay, let's take a little look, shall we? Observed in what Human Reckoning described as the year of the dragon. Oh, so cool. The epic Carolong is the most eye catching of the Crescendo Moon seasonal subspecies. It certainly is. Oh my god. It wields a special instrument known as the How Kong Fan, which not only causes with the chronomagical power of all Chime Keepers, but which was also responsible for introducing a new form of writing to the monster world. Oh, that's so cool. What kind of writing though? Let's see. Encrusted with precious gems and inlaid with priceless jade, it is challenging to consider the aura of this monster as anything less than imperial. In fact, it's thanks to the epic Carolong that a golden yellow color is so often associated associated with the third and highest tier of monster rarity. Wow, that lore is so cool. So the epic icon is yellow icon that you see in the news and promotions and whatnot. That's all thanks to this guy. <laughs> That just comes to show how awesome this one is. And it has a new form of writing. I want more explanation on this because I don't really understand from that perspective just right now. But the epic icon, that is so cool. Man, okay, let's try and breed this thing. I'm gonna have a look on my website real quick. What's the combo? It is Enchantling and Roaring. Beautiful. Now I have actually predicted, I think, the Smoochal combo in Dawn of Fire. So we've got a good one, I think, today in breeding these guys. I'm hoping so anyway. I don't know how hard it was gonna be to breed. Epic Lava Vera, it was worth it breeding it. But it's, am I just worth buying it? I don't know. This is like betting on something. I, I, I am betting my diamonds that I will be able to breed this. <gasps> Toothless! While we've been waiting for Epic Carolong, I have been making a meme where it's just been like Toothless, the dance meme. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm ready! Oh my god, I actually bred a monster! That's a bad sign, to be honest. <laughs> the fact I've not bred one in so long. I'd bred rare knucklehead though, didn't I? That was okay. Other than that, not really many really recently. <laughs> Let's go ahead and have a look at this guy then. Oh, awesome! I need to get ready for this moment. I am ready for you, epic Carolongo. <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. I need to be ready for this moment. <laughs> okay, let's carry on. <laughs> We're ready for you, Carolongo! Let's get to do it, guys! Sorry, I got a bit too carried away with the toothless dance beam. <laughs> I love it so much though. Epic Carolong, I am naming you Toothless. I am so excited right now. Okay, let's have a look at you. Look at how adorable you are. Oh my goodness. Wow, this feels like a brand new monster. It's not like I'm discovering an epic. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's called Hexlong. Not for long though, because it's going to be called Toothless. 
<laughs> oh, oh my goodness. You were so cute. I love you. Look at its eyes and the jaws. Oh, I love how it's been teased so much and it still exceeded everything I could have hoped for. That's when you know a monster is just amazing. Wow. <laughs> Look at the feet in its sleep. <laughs> okay, we're waiting for you, big guy. The epic sigil being after it as well. Could this get any more cooler? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it just gets carried away and it ups its stuff. <laughs> There's nothing to it. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh my god, that's so cool. Wow, the design behind this guy. That is amazing. Let's take you to the shanty. Avida, say goodbye. I don't know what the seasonal shanty combo is anyway, so we're gonna even try on that one. How should I keep checking MPG's website? In the meanwhile, let's check out this awesome monster on its next island. Okay, let's place you. Okay, I'm gonna feed it off real quick. And I'm gonna do the honors of naming it Toothless Softness. <laughs> It's, it's named that forever now. Wonderful. <laughs> I got a bit carried away. My microphone actually, it, the cable fell out. <laughs> I put it back in though for now. It's okay. Let's have a look. Booga, booga. Booga, 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 booga. Oh, it's so cute. Seems so content. I love this. And a fun turn to the Mondrake family as well. That's so cool. Well, before we check out Smoochel and Dawn of Fire, I actually want to go and check out these brand new costumes then first. So I'm assuming we have Air Island to do that on. I, I kind of don't want to leave Epic Car long just so I can do the Toothless dance part. <laughs> I'll do that thing all the time. It's so fun. For now, I will put my feelings to the side though so we can focus on these brand new costumes. Give me new costumes. I want new costumes. What in the world? Why, why am I having Christmas spook to call? This is what happens when you complete the colorless eye quests when you already, oh, have them. Oh, Prom King. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, that is a great match with, is it the Pom Pom Alice in Wonderland one? Now that's going to be a good match. Wow, Season of Love is on for almost three weeks as well. I wonder what that could mean for updates. I'm going to show you guys what I mean. Homecoming Queen, wasn't it? <laughs> These two are a matching duo now. Oh, we have the Prom Queen and Homecoming Queen. Oh wait, Prom King. Oh, they knew what they were doing. Queen and King. These two can just go at the top of the island now. <laughs> The ultimate Mastros. Wow. Wow, well, that's a meme. Hi, you two. <laughs> you can't live up to Epic Carolong. I'm so sorry, but you just can't. What's this next one? Ooh. Okay, a very generic one. We've got Shape of You, which maybe is a reference to the song. I don't think so, though. It's just random flowers around it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that's the reference. But sure. Where are your scopes? Does scopes exist? Oh, it does, right? <laughs> does it exist? Nope. Goodbye. Look, there we go. Flowers, everything. And now it just doesn't exist. <laughs> I think I have too much fun with these costumes than what I should, to be honest. <laughs> What's this next one? Oh, jungle is literally in the name. So this is a reference to one of the things from Flingerving. Wow, that looks awesome. That is definitely the best one that we've got today. Wow, I am so excited. This one's in my hotel, so I'm gonna have to get that out. Wow, because Epic Scopes is based on Flutter, which is another thing. And this costume is based on Dongle, which I find so cool. Yes, they definitely went out there with this costume. That is the best one, wow. Yes. Oh, the... It is so cool. I love that. It's just like a rare or epic. It has changed a lot, <laughs> which is really awesome. How many more do we have? Another two? I don't know where the other two are. They'll be on other islands with nothing to do with the season of love, like Dragon. <laughs> That Crescendo Moon costume, it just, it was not, okay? <laughs> it was not anything to do with Crescendo Moon. Right, what do we have? Oh, we have a Bicenerous one. Oh, I love that. Oh my God. We've not had any costumes for the Fire Expansion ones. Where's the other costume? Oh, and socks. Oh, I didn't get anything socks like I was theorizing, but I got a socks costume. Oh, <laughs> oh it's all come together. Oh, oh, 
what? I'm so excited. I love my ethereal costumes for seasonal events. Oh, I'm excited. I love the wisp one. I'm so excited now. I'm genuinely keeping this out on my island. That looks so cute. The little tuxedo. It's called biz not bi business casual. We've already seen that one. Careless kid. Oh, look at the hair. Yes, let's have a look. Oh, dish is much better than the dragon one. I love dish. Oh, that is so cute. Look at the hairstyle, the quiff. You're matching the MPG dudes now. Now that is a cool costume. I really like the costumes recently. The Zista one and now this one. I really like this one too. It's hard to beat the Zista one. <laughs> Just a huge fish face. Okay, let's go to Psychic Island for Bicinerus as well. Candies. <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me? I think you've been eating too many sweets by Sanerys. <laughs> Look at it coming from his mouth. <laughs> He's got that much sweets on it. God bless it. You got a bit too carried away with the season of love there by Sanerys. <laughs> oh no, we're eating too much. That's the funniest one from today, maybe. I don't know, though. The pango one and stuff was quite funny, too. And getting rid of scups. Poor fella. Maybe I'll remember to put him back one day. <laughs> right, let's go on over to Dawn of Fire, though, now. Okay, so we're in Dawn of Fire. I I'm a bit excited. There's no prismatic. So I'm a bit like, what's going on? <laughs> it's the season of love. Maybe the should be Oh, oh, my God. Oh, 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 my God. I love that. Okay, that looks really cute and cool. And did I see it flying? I don't know. I closed it off because I was like, I kind of want to breathe this. But that looks so weird and cool. That looks so cute. 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 I love special. Cute. Do we have some new Valentine's attire on this island? I'm looking. I don't see anything. There's no change to the airlands. Oh, oh, the skyship part has changed. But the rest of the island has stayed the same. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just focus on this little thing then. That's pretty cool. I like that. I'm just I'm confused why the rest of the island hasn't changed. I also see the colossal sigil and I love that very much. All right, let's have a look at his costumes. I'm sure the costumes will be amazing. Let's have a look. Oh, we got Glau here with some Valentine's hearts. Repetillo with the hearts. <laughs> What is with Pom Pom over here? Pom Pom's gone rose crazy. Well, Alice in Wonderland Queen, there you are, love again. <laughs> That's pretty fitting, to be honest. Oh, Mama, that is the best one. <gasps> Look at you, you are so cute. Oh my God, it's like a fuzzy teddy bear. I'm obsessed with that one. Do we have any more? Oh, we have Reed Lynn with the makeup. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Oh, and Bicinerous, wearing a bit of a necklace there. Oh, and Cybot. Oh, and Snizer. How would you even put a costume on Baby Snizer? That's a good question. That's pretty cool for what we've got. Mama wins. Mama just wins, okay? Mama is OP. I think I like the spooktacle ones more. Just lots of hearts here, to be honest. Mama changed a lot, though. I like Mama. Mama is very cute. I wonder if the skyship has changed. I have called the skyship back, so I'm just waiting to see if it's... <gasps> oh, it has changed! Oh, my God. That is so cool. Oh, I am so lucky I caught that back, man. <laughs> Everyone would have been on to me. That is epic okay that makes up for it now that is awesome i love that i love it okay let's get smooch all then now now i've noticed a pattern amongst the breeding combos so we should be able to go ahead and get this what is it smooch all dawn of fire what did i predict it was it was kana and tiawa if you figured out the pattern good job i'm not mentioning the pattern because i don't want them to change the pattern <laughs> I feel like if I mention it, they will change the pattern for the rest of the seasonals. So I'm not doing that. Oh, I got it. I got the combo right. I got the combo right. <laughs> If you look at the original island combos and then look at the new ones, just saying, there is a pattern and I have just confirmed that. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, there's particles in the nursery now as well. But that looks cool. Let's... <gasps> Oh, it's so cute and fuzzy and I want to cuddle it. Oh my God. I what? Did, did you guys hear that? <laughs> Is that his actual sound? I am so sorry. Wait, that is its actual sound. <gasps> I thought it wasn't. What? But that does not sound right. I am so confused. <laughs> okay, let's place you further down. I seriously cannot believe this sound. I think this is the weirdest reaction to a Dawn of Fire monster ever, and I am so sorry. <laughs> At the same time. 
<laughs> Did you guys hear that? I think that sounds so weird. I thought it was like a glitch when I encountered the sound. Its pitch is so weird and high voice. <laughs> it's like me when I see a new monster. Extremely exaggerated. <laughs> Oh, I'm not too much of a fan of that, to be honest. I love the design, though. It's cute. Should we have a look at his sleeping? Oh, oh they hold hand. You, you cute. You are cute. I need to rehear this sound because I feel like that was just so weird. It doesn't play with Mimic at the end. That would have been perfect. Why don't you go here? Why do you go there? The higher pitched voice, if it was done right, would have gone so well at this bit. With Mimic. Dum, dum, diddly, dum. <gasps> I can't believe I thought that was a glitch. That is so bad. I need to re-listen though. I'm just in shock because I feel like it could have done so much, but it feels like it's just a squeak. You see, when you place down monsters as well, they don't usually take part in the song until after you've placed them down, which is why I thought it was a glitch. Okay, I think here we go. Oh. Okay, that is way more animated than what we usually get on the continent. I just feel like that sound is a bit iffy, man. I feel like people are going to come for me in the comments, but I feel like that's really high pitched and I feel like it is going to be a bit of a distraction. Not too bad. Maybe just a bit meh. I'm not saying it's like Anglo, where it really takes away from the song, but I just feel like it could have done a lot more. Let's have a look at the origins behind Smoochel though now. If music be the food of love, play on. The story of how Smoochel came to be is awfully romantic. Two monsters named Val and Tynes. <laughs> wow, we've named the two Smoochels. That's awesome. Would send each other messages expressing their profound adoration for each other. Each message would be transcribed in ink on a brightly colored feather and dispatched on a gentle breeze that would carry it to its recipient. That is so cool. I just can't. We actually have names. Valentines. Valentines. Oh, yeah. Cause... <laughs> How did I not see that? Anyway, let's, <laughs> let's pretend that MPG is not a little silly sometimes. Just like love, the wind can be fickle and some love letters wouldn't always reach their destination. Over time, enough of these feathers clumped together in one spot that they achieve spontaneous life. Wow. The spirits of Valentine's <laughs> resound infinitely in this charming seasonal monstling and remind us that love conquers all. Oh, that is so cute. I want to know which one is Val and which one is Tynes. I'm going to take on a prediction that Val is maybe the right one and Tynes is the left one. I'm not sure. You guys comment which one you think it is down below and what you think about Smoochel and Epic Carolong. I love Epic Carolong. I never thought I'd say it. I'd like it more than a completely new monster, but Epic Carolong did that for me today. <laughs> I'll see you guys later for now. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to leave a like and I will see you guys later for now. Bye.